Hello everyone, this is Jade Noble back at again with another video. Today I have a really special video for you all. Um, I submitted some coins a little over a month ago to Annex. This is my second submission ever. And uh, I finally got them back. Uh, I made a video showing what coins I'd submit. Um, a few of them are different because I changed uh, my mind and put some others in instead. But I'd like to go through the grades with you. Um, I do know somewhat what the grades are. Uh, Annex is not the best at telling you exactly what they are, especially with the varieties and stuff. But uh, I wanted to go through these with you all, and I was really shocked with the results of these overall. So let's go through the first one. We're going to start here on the right and go forward. So this is a 1787 Fujo scent. It's a really nice coin. I just wanted to make sure it's authentic. I'm glad it didn't get back in a body bag because these were uh, commonly um, faked. Um, this is 1787. This is actually the first um, U.S. coin that was ever used as U.S. currency. Um, so a really cool part of our history. Um, but if you can look, if I can get it, especially on the back, you can see... Um, it's got a lot of pitting, so I knew this was gonna be corroded, but I just wanted to make sure it's authentic, and I thought the detail was okay on it. I didn't, I did, I don't really know how to grade these though, so I was just hoping um, VG maybe fine, and uh, it got VF twenty details corroded. Um, now on my list it didn't show that it was corroded, but I was almost certain it was. But uh, VF twenty details is really nice on this coin. Um, if this was straight graded, you'd be looking at probably eight hundred to a thousand. Um, probably cut the value in half, so you're probably looking at four to five hundred on this coin, but still really cool. And I, I'm glad to add this to my collection. I'm glad to authenticate it. So this was a good score overall, although the details I knew that, but it got a good grade overall, so I'm really happy with that. All right, now this is the Lincoln set. Um, this was one I changed out with another one because I thought it would definitely straight grade. Um, but on the sheet, it did say this one was corroded, but I thought maybe it was for this coin instead. Um, but I thought this one was a lot like the last one I had done. Uh, I thought it was a nice, solid VF coin. Very fine. And uh, I got it back. Let's see what we got. They gave this one corroded too. I'm a little bit confused there. I don't really see the pitting. Um, I saw some hits, but I didn't think that was corrosion. Not sure. This one was a filler, and it was pretty. This was a pretty big letdown here, um, but it is what it is. You're always going to have some issues with some of these coins, so um, that was just a filler, just to fill it up. So nothing too crazy about that. All right, now we're going to get into the Morgans. This is an 1879 Philadelphia. Um, this was also sort of a filler coin, and uh, it's got some like carbon toning spots on it. I was a little bit concerned about it, but um, I thought this would get straight grade. And I was just hoping for a mint state. Um, I thought it'd maybe get a 63, but I don't know um, if these carbon spots made a difference, but uh, but it's a, it's a nice solid coin. Nothing too special about it. It was just a filler coin. And it got a MS61, so at least it's straight graded, a little bit low on the mint state, um, but this coin's worth about probably $60, $70, so it didn't really add much value sitting it in, but at least we know it's not clean, so that, that does help, um, at least so people know. All right, this one, this is, this is one coin I really had high hopes for. This is an 1885 Philadelphia Morgan dollar. As you can see, the cheek is super clean. There's just a couple little hits. There's a little hit there and a little bit up there, but super clean, 1885, guys. Um, I was hoping this might come back as 65. Really nice original coin. Um, uh, and I had my hopes on this, that this would come back as 65, but I wasn't sure, because this would really increase this coin's value. And it did come back in MS65. So really good score here, because this coin's probably now worth, um, I mean, PCGS, they're running close to 200. I'd say this coin's probably about a 170, 180 coin being Annex, but Annex is very strict on their Morgan dollars. So this is definitely, I think, a true MS65. So I'm really stoked about this. And uh, I was able to get this one out in the open and actually get it in an MS65 holder. Definitely gonna be a keeper for me. Really happy with that. Probably added a good $100 plus in value. Now we're gonna get into my no FGs. 
Um, this is a 1972 Denver. It was supposed to be a no FG. Let's see which one this one was. I can't tell. But um, I sent off four of these, and I was hoping that all four of them would get no FG, but I really wanted at least a couple of them to come back. Um, it's really hard for you to tell, but you can really see no FG there. I don't really see it. But they did not give this one an OFG. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think I know why they didn't. Um, it's tough to see in the video. But there's these two little little pieces of the FG at the top there. Um, and I think that's why they didn't give it. Because there was just a little bit um, on the tips on these two. So they did not give this an OFG. But uh, that's part of the part of the process. I mean, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some, but uh, that's all right. I mean, it, it's not really worth a whole lot, but it is about as close you can get to an OFG without it getting that. So um, it is what it is. But this next one, um, another one that I was hoping we get an OFG, another 72 no FG is what the plan was. Um, it's tough for you to you guys get a close view of it. Um, but you can see there's really no FG there. And let's see what it got. It did get it, guys. So these are actually worth quite a bit of money. Um, on eBay, I looked it up. And uh, for AU50 to 58s, they're, they're asking usually between $200 and $300. Um, but I don't know what they've actually sold for because there aren't that many um, sales on eBay. But uh, I would say this coin, you could probably fairly easily get 150 for it, maybe 150, 180. So definitely a good um, score here because I found this in a coin roll. So um, really good score here. Uh, so basically all I have is uh, the fees for getting, which came out to about $27 a coin. So about $27 into this. Um, let's just say 30 roundup. But uh, definitely well over $100 coin here. So if you find these guys and you, you think it's an OFG, it, I think it is worth sending off because these are worth quite a bit. So definitely be looking out for those. We have two more of the uh, 72Ds. Here's another one here. This one has a little bit more wear than the other one, I think. But uh, you can see there, there is, really, there is not any FG on that at all. So really good example here. Let's see if this one got it as well. And it did, guys. The FS901, no FG. So really good score here. Another one probably worth maybe 150 maybe a little bit less than the AU55. But most of these AUs, they run about the same as I was looking on eBay. All right, now, guys, this is the big one here. This was the nicest example I had that I thought was an OFG. I mean, just a beautiful coin here. Um, you can see a um, really nice coin. Um, I thought this one was mint state. It looked funny though, the fields and stuff on it. Um, and when I looked at the back, you can see, doesn't really look like there's an FG, maybe just a tiny bit of it. This one, I, I didn't think, I thought this one would get it, but I wasn't 100% certain. Um, really nice coin though, really no FG, almost every angle. So really nice coin. And look at this, huh? Look at that, MS64, no FG, and they said it's a struck through grease. So I guess all this like fuzziness in the fields was a struck through grease error. So I've never seen this before, guys, and I didn't put this on the variety at all. I just thought it was a no FG, but guys, this coin um, is actually a big hitter. Um, I looked it up, uh, PCS price guide puts it at uh, $2,100. $2, I think 20, just over $2,000 for this coin for the no FG. And on eBay, I saw one listed for 1800 and has five watchers on it. Uh, it hasn't sold, but uh, this struck through grease error on top of it. Um, this is crazy. I've never seen, I've never had, I mean, I'm probably have had one, but this coin uh, is the most valuable coin I've ever found in circulation being a no FG and a struck through grease error. I really don't know what the value of this is. Because uh, they didn't mention that in their notes for me, the struck through grease error. But this coin, I'm assuming it's definitely worth over a thousand, uh, maybe fifteen hundred. I don't know if somebody really wants it and it's got 
the grease error on top of it. Um, craziest coin I've ever gotten back for sure. This was a huge winner. This paid for the whole submission times five. Uh, just absolutely crazy. So that was definitely the number one score. And now we're going to get to the Morgan, uh, the new Morgans, the 2021. And then I have a 2021 uh, piece. This one was the big one, guys. This was the Denver minted one. You can see the D mint there. Um, this coin in Mint State 70, uh, if you get it through uh, NGC or PCGS, you're looking at $1,000. Um, I believe Annex, you're probably looking at probably, I think I found some, and they were uh, about, a, um, I think they were asking about $700. they are not on there anymore, so I'm assuming they sold them. So, um, But I was really on for an MS70 because this would be a huge payoff coin. So uh, let's see what we got. Look at that. MS70 guys, uh, so a perfect coin. This one was definitely a gamble, but it did look really clean. I didn't really see any issues. You can look at the fields there. Super nice coin, no hits on it. And uh, this coin added a lot of value, probably at about five, uh, four to $500 in value on this coin, even being through Annex. So really stoked about this guys. And the next one, last coin. This one is the 2021 Peace Dollar. Again, um, I really liked the look of this coin. Um, I, I looked at it fairly closely. Um, these are sort of tough because, I mean, any hit, you're gonna be down to 69. So, but I thought it was a pretty perfect coin. Um, was hoping for a 70. These run about 300 and 70, maybe a little bit less being Annex, but you're still looking at 250 probably at least. So uh, a decent upgrade from about what they sell raw, about 140, 150. So let's check it. And look at that, guys, MS70. So um, really did well here at the end. Uh, a little bit, the, the start was not very good, but these last uh, three, uh, last five coins were huge hitters. You had your MS70s, your Morgan and Peace dollars, and then this was the coin of the whole submission right here. I, I can't believe it. Um, didn't even know it had a struck through grease error. So really, really great result, guys. Um, by far uh, the greatest coin submission I've ever done. Um, yeah, there were some bad ones in here at the beginning, but uh, I can't complain. This was um, a super great uh, coin submission. Definitely worth the price for me. Um, uh, Annex is definitely a good grading service to use if you want to save a little bit of money. Not If you don't have super high value coins, um, which I didn't think these were going to be at high value, but the last ones definitely would probably help if you send them to PCGS or NGC. But um, definitely worth the grading um, fees, guys. And uh, you need to check them out. I think they have a special right now. It's uh, thirteen dollars a coin, but they don't. They can't be worth more than five hundred. So, but um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I haven't done one of these uh, since I started the YouTube channel, so I was really happy to a uh, um, coin submission. Let me know what you guys think about this coin right here. Well, maybe put a value on it, or what do you think about it? It's a really cool coin. Um, I definitely think it's worth over a thousand dollars, especially with that struck through grease error. So, really cool coin. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.